For this problem, we need to calculate the 2D curl of f, and if f is conservative, find the potential function for f. All right, so first let's remember what the 2D curl is. It's the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. where the first row is the partial derivatives ddx and ddy. And the second row is my i and j vectors, uh, components. So first we're going to multiply across the main diagonal and have ddx times 2xy plus 3x squared y squared. Subtract ddy times y squared plus 2xy cubed. Now we just take the derivative with respect to y and with respect to x. So that gives us 2y plus 6xy squared. And this gives us 2y plus, again, 6xy squared. So here we can see that the, curve, the curl is equal to zero. Now we know if the curl is equal to zero, that means that this, uh, this vector field is indeed conservative. So now we need to find a potential function for f. I'm going to switch boards. So we'll start um, by writing out each of the components of the vector field in terms of ddx and ddy. So this is the i component, which was y squared plus 2xy cubed. And here's the j component, which is 2xy plus 3x squared y squared. Now what we want to do to solve this is we're first going to integrate the x component with respect to x. So because y squared doesn't have any x's in it, we just treat that as a constant and that becomes x y squared. And the second term becomes x squared y cubed. And now because we only integrated with respect to x, we have an extra function of y. So this is our potential function so far, um, but we've only integrated with respect to x. We need to get what this y term is. Um, if we take the partial derivative of our current f, uh, with respect to y now, we can set it equal to uh, our original function with respect to y and compare the two. So to take the derivative of a of y, we need to get a prime of y, which is okay because y is only of a single variable, variable, so we can use the prime notation. Um, now if we set this equation equal to the j component that we had before, we can see that they're almost identical except for this one term right here. So 
So just to solve this equation, we know that a prime of y is equal to 0. Therefore, a sub y is just equal to a constant. Now, we can, now that we have a sub y, we can plug that, plug that back into our equation for f and get our answer for the potential function. And there you have it.